Wes, what do you think was the difference for them tonight? Uh, for New York, or New York. Um, they play a pretty good pace. Uh, they got out and you know they benefited from fast break points. You know I think um, floor balance wasn't great at times, and the urgency to get back. You know, all, some of those misses kind of spurred their you know offensive attack, especially in that third quarter. Um, I think that that got them going a little bit. How about in the paint? The the differential that they had was a big advantage. Yeah, um, you know they're, they're going to play downhill. And we talked about the one-on-one -on -one piece, the offensive rebounding piece. Um, you know, it's all those layers that um, contribute to those you know points in the paint. But you know, you get down 15, you're not shooting the ball well. You know, I, I was proud of the group that we were able to hang in there, get enough stops, make shots. You know, to at least make it a ball game and we'll give ourselves a chance. What um, I understand why the Knicks piled up their 50 paint points, but what limited the Wizards um, scoring in the paint tonight, did you think? Well, I mean, it's, you don't really have a huge advantage in pick and roll. You know, they're, they're in a deep drop. So, you know, that the, their style of play opens up the three. And, you know, 42 threes for us is a lot. You know, sadly, we just didn't make enough of them. You know, I, th I thought the vast majority were quality. Um, you know, just... Uh, and they're going to run you down. They're not going to just quit on it. But um, that's their their style of play. They are a heavy paint, and they're going to they're going to force you to kick that ball out. I and mean, you got to make some of them loose them up. I'm sure you want to watch the film, but what do you think the common theme was in terms of the transition points that they had? Was it effort, focus? To well, at, at times we were crashing the glass. You know, we had Smalls going to the to the rim, trying to chase down rebounds, at the detriment of our transition defense. What did you? Think that you guys maybe could have done better against Brunson. Uh, you know he's he's a tough tough cover. You know late in the game we tried to hit him, uh, tried to keep him in one direction, um, but he's shifty. He turns the corner, gets downhill, got to the line quite a bit in that third, I believe, 13 free throws. Which once again for a guy who is a you know big time scorer, he sees the ball go in. And he's playing with a level of comfort. So trying to guard him, defend him without fouling, keep him off the line would help. Wes, um, after Rui and DeLon initially came back in late last month, um, obviously your bench was, was doing really well. Do you feel like the past few games it's just kind of coming back down to earth, or, or what have you seen from them lately? Well, I mean, the, the bench unit has kind of shifted it, you know, because we've been a little depleted. Um, I don't know if it, you, know, you call it coming back to earth, or you, know, you have really good stretch, you have a little bit of you know tough patch. Um, at some point, it you know, averages out. So I don't, I don't look too deep into it as an issue. Um, but I still want those guys to play with a level of confidence, um, be aggressive, take the right types of shots, keep guarding. You know, that's all you can ask for. Um, season high for you. You guys kind of needed every bit of it. What was going well? No, I, I think over the past probably um, probably 10 games or so, I'm, I'm really just slowing my game down a lot. I'm seeing um, – I've seen a lot of – you know, obviously we've had a lot of, a lot of injuries – and uh, I've seen just about every defense um, kind of this season. So I, I feel like my game is just really, really slowing down and my pace is great. And I'm just um, just understanding myself more and um, knowing what I can get to. So, As a whole, do you feel like you guys just started off or was it something that their defense was doing to kind of muck things up? Mm. I mean, I mean, that's the point of their defense. Uh, the how, the way they play, they pack the paint. Um, they 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 make you make the right play every possession down. Uh, so and coming into the game, we knew that. I feel like tonight we were just just flat. Um, you know, I think we shot seven for 32, 33 again from three. So can't win many games like that. Especially the game was really low scoring. I mean, we held them to low forties for most most part of the game. You know, they got a little hot at the end, but yeah, we gave ourselves a chance and, um, you know, try to get them shorthanded. What do you think made the difference for them in, in the fourth quarter as they were able to, you know, gain some momentum, especially early in the quarter? Uh, Jalen Brunson. I mean, he just took over the game. You know, he's an all star this year. He's been playing phenomenal basketball. He's been a guy that's really kind of probably in. You know, he's, he's the extension of Tibbs off the court a little bit. You could just tell from the team last year to this year, they, just, they have more poise and patience, and they look for him. And um, he delivered tonight, so. 
You, you mentioned they packed the paint. Was it as simple as that why they had such a big advantage in terms of paint points? They had a lot of paint points, you're saying? Well, yeah, it was 50 to 28 in paint points. We, we, we only scored 28. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, um, Mitchell Robinson is a load in there, and then a lot of times they 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 shrink on the floor, and then if you're in the paint, they're they're swarming you. So a lot of we shot a lot of tough shots in the paint tonight, uh, knowing that was going to happen. But <clears throat> you know, we gave ourselves the chance. So. It's just 40 minutes for you. How do you feel physically coming out of a game like that? Uh, amazing. So great. You mentioned just, you know, teams are throwing different defenses at you. That's something that Brad has talked about, you know, for the past few years for him. I guess, does he try and give you any advice or anything like that on how to adapt to that? I mean, I mean, this is all new for me. This is the first time in my career I'm, I really i am having a, a role of, you know, this high of a usage. So. You know, I'm learning on the fly. I'm learning um, pretty fast too. So I'm a student of the game, and I, I understand. Um, and I played with some great players. So watching them, understanding how teams guarded them, I'm kind of seeing those kind of things right now, uh, especially when we have guys hurt. But you know, it's all about just watching film and and, and just believing in yourself, plain and simple. So. What did you think the difference in tonight's game was? Uh, making shots down the stretch. I mean, they got some guys that are a problem in isolation and um, did a good job getting their guys to the right spots. And you know, they made it when they needed it. And a few uh, shots tricked out for us um, at the very end. How, how do you see the way they defended you? Um, there's, there's been some talk about how they kind of packed the paint and maybe uh, it led to all the three-point attempts for you guys? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's how they play defense. That's how they've played defense all season long. They protect the paint and then kind of bet on you not making the right play. Um, the right play tonight for us was a lot of threes. And uh, just one of those times where it didn't go down. And those are qu quality looks and looks that we we want to get. So we live with those results. You've made at least one three in 17 straight games. Just kind of how are things going for you right now? Oh, I feel great. Um, best I've felt in my career, shooting the ball for sure. Um, I'm really, really happy with, with where my jump shot is. Um, Corey, you've talked to us about kind of searching for consistency this year. Mm -hmm. I guess aside from that, how do you kind of judge your trajectory this season so far? Um, not getting wrapped up in numbers, I guess. Um, scoring numbers, stuff like that. Um, being really focused on the big picture, long term. Um, where I'm at as far as my goals two, five, seven years down the line. Um, I think I've taken some big jumps to to get there. Um, defensively, shooting percentage, um, the way my shot feels, all that stuff is lining up perfectly. Um, you were in and out of the starting lineup last year as well, and I don't know if that was a challenge for you at all or mm -hmm. not, but have you? do you feel like you've handled it better this season just dealing with the different Yeah, yeah, I mean, I kind of know what to expect. Um, you know, I in the you know in the morning and in the afternoon, I got to put on my starter hat. And I got to put on my you know coming off the bench hat. Like I just got two different roles in this team, and um, you know it's the way it is. So got to um, deal with it, take it in stride, and um, kind of learn how to play in both roles. Especially on a night when you know Brad is out, do the coaches or teammates encourage you to try and be more aggressive, trying to find your shot? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter if Brad's in or out. Like, they're still encouraging me to be aggressive. Um, I can always be more aggressive. And um, as someone who's responsible on this team for shooting threes, um, and we don't shoot a lot compared to the rest of the league, uh, it's kind of my job to be aggressive. So, um, you know, Brad, even when he's in, is one of the main encouragers. So, um, looking to take more and more.